I am a storyteller and a journalist at, at heart. That's all I do, that's the only thing I'm really good at. I'm at a point in my life, I'm not really trying to be a leader per se, but I'm trying to give voice to it and capture the voices of other people. Mass transit is in my blood. My dad, uh, who's now 97 years old, worked for the New York City Transit Authority for more than 30 years. That's how we ate, really, almost like a part of my DNA. And I started doing a Sunrail blog just as, as kind of like a goof at first. It was just a fun thing because it was a new shiny toy. But the more I started writing about it, the more I started seeing what its potential was, and it wasn't any place close to its potential. But most of the time I just record what, is, what has happened there and try to be that reader's voice, getting deeper and deeper into the issues, you know, why it isn't bigger and better. Some people say, oh, you attack Sunrail so much and you're trying to hurt it. I tell them I'm kind of like an Orlando Magic fan. You can be a fan of the team, but you can really be angry at something because you want them to win. People don't understand that there's no public transit system almost any place in the world that's, that survives purely on the fare box. The place, the people to be angry at, the people who pass the laws and approve the budgets, those are the people who can fix what we have right now. Sunrail cannot afford to fail. It really can't.